but I think it's going to the big scrap heap in the sky. Rip this count then. Hey? Rip this count. <laughs> yes. and what are you trying to do? Uh, Vauxhall Viscount, same as that crash to behind but just a, this one's got electric windows and power steering and all that on it so we're trying to take the power steering off of this one to put on the uh, on the crashter over there. So are all power steering's compatible? Well it's the same model car basically, same engine, okay. same suspension, a few bits and pieces you have to change over but not a lot. So that would mean that this, uh, this lovely car won't have power steering once? Um... No this one won't but I think it's going to the big scrap heap in the sky. Rip this count then. Hey? Rip this count. <laughs> yes. See that? Yeah. So all I've got to do, I've taken that out on the other one, because that had power steering written on it, so it must be a certain way round. All I've got to then do is check the pitman arm that comes off of that steering box there, make sure that's the same, and then it'll all just fit in there. Ta-da! That didn't take long. That pulley's got two two belts on it, on the bottom there. So you've got one to feed your alternator and one to feed the power steering pump. So I've got to change them. What a guess, first time. Now this could be a pain in the ass because you can't lock it in gear or anything because it's an auto with a knackered starter motor. <laughs> because it's an automatic, you can't like in, if it was a manual car, I could put it in gear, chop the wheels, and that would stop the engine rotating. Yeah. But because it's an auto, you, you can't stop it rotating. Okay. Because the torque converter just keeps spinning. So there's a hole in the bottom of the flex plate there, so I'll just shove that bar in it, and hopefully that'll lock it off. That's it, it's gone. So, what parts do you need for the power steering then? Just this front pulley. That pump I've taken off with the bracket, and basically that's it. What's lying on the floor out there is it. Okay. That's the one we need. So with the double pulley, so we take the one off the other engine and pop him back on that one. And then that's all the parts required. I'd say that's 150, but that looks like a longer drop on that. Oh, I don't know, it might be the same. Best to check though, you know. Would that affect the steering then if it's out? Alright, we've got about 10 mil <coughs> drop off the base of the nut. That's got about 8 mil, I don't think 2 mil on that's going to make the slightest bit of difference, mate, so. on for the moment to let it it's let the fluid circulate so why would you put steering uh, power steering into a car this um it's just to increase the resale value yeah i suppose it might do yeah just, yeah i wouldn't bother personally but that's just me i mean old cars are old cars hmm. i think 
you're never going to get him to drive like a modern car, no matter what the f you do to it. Yeah. It's never going to happen, so. But that's, that's what people want, that's what people want. Customer's request. Yep, see ya.